A day after Mbakasi North Member of Parliament James Gakuya was picked by anti-corruption officers, he was charged alongside three others for breaking procurement laws to get businesses for his companies from the constituency development funds valued at more than 40 million shillings. He denied the charges and was released on a 2 million shillings cash bail or an alternative 5 million shillings bond. And former Embu Senator Leni Kivuti has moved to the Supreme Court to challenge a decision by the Court of Appeal upholding the election of Martin Wambora as Embu governor. In a notice of appeal filed at the Nyeri Court, Kivuti says he is not satisfied with the ruling that declared Wambora was validly elected. He wants the Supreme Court to invalidate his election and order for a fresh election conducted in strict conformity with the Constitution. Separately, the court has issued warrant of arrest against four suspects linked to the loss of 468 million shillings at the National Youth Service. Senior Principal Magistrate Lucas Onyina ordered for the arrest of Charles Macau Mulandi, Samuel Otieno, Patrick Obunya and Amfrio Diambo, who are still at large more than two months since their co-accused were charged. <laughs> Finally, drama ensued at the Homer Bay Court when two county assembly officials who have been evading arrest by ethics and anti-corruption commission detectives were arrested. County assembly clerk Bob Kefers and senior accounts controller Maurice Amek presented themselves in court following a warrant of arrest issued against them. The duo alongside five others were later charged of alleged misappropriation of public funds worth 27 million shillings in financial years 2015-2016 and 2016-2017. They will remain in custody pending their bail application on the 27th of August this year. Ben Chumba, reporting for Scales of Justice.